Hey, it's Ethan with ComTech. So today I wanted to wrap up this series and go over how do you use OneDrive and SharePoint together. Now I've created a video on what is OneDrive and what is SharePoint. Now this video is gonna be bringing them together. Of course, those other two videos I will link to in the description. Uh, it's really simple. Uh, OneDrive, when you're working on a document, typically uh, you're working on a document, you're creating a draft, you're getting it ready, that is all pretty much done in OneDrive. You're gonna save that in your personal cloud storage typically. Once you have it ready, and now you wanna share it with the entire company, maybe it's a policy document or whatever it may be, that is when you would move it into SharePoint. Uh, now, some of the things that make this easy, I'm not gonna go into the very specific pieces of how to do this. You can leave a comment below or contact us and we'll be more than happy to help you. But some of the things that make this easy is, one thing is the OneDrive app that you can download on your computer. It makes it to where all of your OneDrive or SharePoint files syncs right to your file explorer, if you can see it over here on the left. Uh, so it makes it to where you're pretty much, you feel like you're working on your computer. You're not just working in a web page. The other thing is, is because this is all Microsoft, so OneDrive, SharePoint, Teams, Outlook, all of it is Office 365. They all have been created to work together. So this is actually a screenshot from Microsoft Teams. If you're using Microsoft Teams and you have a lot of your files stored in OneDrive and SharePoint, you can access those files directly inside of Microsoft Teams. You don't have to open up another app. Um, so everything pretty much works together. That's the goal here. Uh, a couple of things to, to round this video out is, as it says, easy file access across all devices, uh, whether it's your OneDrive, which is your personal storage, or SharePoint, which is your company storage. Uh, Real-time collaboration, so everybody can work on the same documents at the same time. Uh, and then finally, peace of mind with version history uh, and permission. So you can restore versions. You can also really restrict permissions so only people, only certain people can see certain things. If you have any questions about OneDrive, SharePoint, how to set them up, how to make them work for your company, please go out to our website or leave a comment below. We would absolutely love to hear from you. Have a great day.